Well, good afternoon, fans. Uh, welcome to On Blast with MG. We have Ricardo Morrison, the artistic director for the uh, Santa Barbara Solstice uh, Festival. Here, he's going to take us around and uh, give us a tour of the uh, um, Garden Street uh, workshop, where they build all the floats for the parade, and uh, we'll get to see him tomorrow. Yes. So, welcome. Thank you. Can I say a few words here? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Great. Absolutely. So uh, um, this is the 45th year of the Santa Barbara Summer Solstice Parade and we have a workshop here which is open for two months so that we're open to the community. Anyone can build the parade. We're a human powered parade so it's wheels and wood and a variety of things. Uh, even a lot of donated stuff, repurposed things, uh, recycled things and of course things that we store and reuse. So, uh, um, so this workshop, everything that you'll see, are, is will all have to disappear. So we make it appear, and then it disappears. Where does it go, Ricardo? It goes into storage containers. Uh, that's one of our big jobs after the parade. Is I load two uh, 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 trailers, uh, semi trailers, and then we have a storage unit. And then, oh, wow. of course, we have to throw things away, and hopefully that gets so sorted and recycled as much as possible. So well, that sounds really good. I mean, you guys are using a lot of repurposed uh, items, so that's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like these chairs, these thrones, going to start here. This is for the uh, king and queen or the sun and moon solstice royalty, the two big chairs. And um, so we had a raffle, and two people, non-gender specific, will become the king and queen, or we're trying to transition to sun and moon. Uh -huh. uh, if you will, of solstice. And this is a, an honorary chair for a woman named Sojourner, a poet, in, a local poet in town, and she can't walk the parade, so we try to make ways that anyone can be in the parade. That's, that's really great. That's really great to be able to do that. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and then we can just stroll this way, careful of the... Absolutely. So uh, these wings were created here in the workshop by an artist named Dusty Williams. And he will actually have two giant ones on bicycles. These will be on roller skates and mono wheels. And uh, there'll be a, a whole wheeled group of uh, a kaleidoscope of butterflies. That's the plural. Which wow. Think. Really uh, beautiful. But these were all created here. These again are, once again, are the thrones. About how long? So you guys, you said about two months. You uh, yes, you we work start for about here May first. May first. And of course, the parade is tomorrow, June twenty uh, second, and then we are cleaning up afterwards. But the the, the building time is from May first till now. So two months worth of, I'm sure. Yeah. Some fun times yeah, and some uh, yeah, yeah. really really hard work. Yeah. These look really interesting. A lot of problem solving and brainstorming. So uh, guy in the ladder here is Jim Sunder. He's our technical director and uh, primary uh, dragon wrangler and uh, he does a lot of uh, uh, cosmetic work on dragons, uh, <laughs> primarily uh, skin treatments. I got you. Okay. Looks really beautiful. Uh, so this will be the tail end float. There'll be drums hanging on the back of that. Um, Michael uh, from Groove Shine, the lo a ba a local band, that, but he travels back and forth, will be on this. Then they'll later play on the main stage at the festival. Okay. So tell our viewers, uh, the festival is not only just a parade, but it also right. incorporates a uh, three-day event. Right. Fridays. The, uh... Fridays. Uh, this today, Friday, which is the actual solstice. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday. So Friday uh, in the park is like, music and crafts and food and vendors. And this is uh, Alice Keck Park Alice in Keck Santa Barbara. Park. And then um, and it's very it's a really like a lot of locals come there. It's a really great time to go to the park. Right. And then on Saturday is uh, the parade ends at the park. So it draws all the people that have been watching the parade into the parks, and the park's very full, and it's a really good time. A variety and music of music, and uh, Area 51 is playing a variety of bands. I don't, I'm not in charge of that part, but I know it's good. very nice. But just to give our viewers a little history, the yes. uh, the Summer Solstice Parade was started in 1974 yeah. by a man uh, named Michael Gonzalez. Correct? He was a mime. Yes, Michael Gonzalez was a yeah, part of the Santa Barbara Mime Troupe, and uh, as the story goes. Uh, they wanted to celebrate his birthday, which actually I believe is May 1st, and so they went down the street. And then they thought, oh, why don't we make a parade? And so they wow. went to, to the city and got a permit. That permit actually gives us one of our rules, which we still follow to this day, which is, although it came from the city being afraid that it might be a protest parade, 
but they gave us a, a, a rule which is no written words or recognizable symbols. Hmm. And so we use that uh, still as our basic premise so that we're not advertising, we're not, we have no message other than human creativity, um, and we, any political statement has to be an art, an art piece to make some kind of, to make a statement so that it's not, we're not just out there. So the zest of life. Yes, yes. Without any of the extra... Well, or with that, but it has to still be artful. That's so great. like at one, one point we had a, some, one year someone made an oil derrick and had a person with a cowboy hat riding on it. Clearly that's a political statement, but it's also very artful and humorous and that you know, gives people a chance to play around with thoughts in their head. That's great. And it does draw one of the biggest crowds in probably in Santa, in, over, the, over the course of the year, about 100,000 people come to this parade. I think so. And it's also, I think it's the biggest draw for a three-day uh, event, uh, a, a fiesta. And fiesta might have more, but they're, they're several weeks. So for a three-day right. event, we draw a lot. It's usually between 50 and 80,000 people watching the parade. Oh, thank you, Richard. Well, okay. show me around. Okay. So this uh, is uh, uh, from an artist named Polly. Comes from Hungary. Now he normally does inflatable sculptures. Mm -hmm. He is actually going to have one of his inflatable sculptures in there. But this is in particular called the Tree of Life, and uh, there will be aerial dancers dancing inside. It's a little hard to see now because the cover from the rain, and all of the cloth, all of the colors that you see on this are from an artist uh, whose name was Margaret Singer. And this is a memorial to her. She just passed away. She just died, um, I want to say, a couple of months ago. And uh, um, she w had been a Holocaust survivor and an, was an artist in town and uh, very active in the Jewish Community Center. And Polly was often a caregiver with her. So this is a memorial to her. The, all of these, all the colors you see here all come from her. Wow. And this will have maybe lights on it for a nighttime thing if we ever get to do it. Okay, I'll follow you. So these are, and this is a giant one. So this is Claire France in there standing upon the scaffolding. Uh, she's create, she, these are creatures of her creation called nopes, which is the combination, as you can see from the head, nose and beak. So that, thus their name nopes. We don't know too much about them, except that they appear at different times. And so, uh, and in different forms to different people. Right. So everybody that looks at them sees different animals. You know, so they, they kind of change. However, your personality is whatever. Right. Whatever I see. Animals you, you appreciate. It sort of reminds me of the Star Wars character at this point. They, yeah, yeah. I, yeah Has anybody I, said that before? Yeah, Jim Henson, Star Wars, Disney, uh -huh. all very big influences. In Beautiful work. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Th thus. With the theme wonder, you wonder you what they wonder are. What they <laughs> Absolutely, sure does create that like wonder. Looking at the clouds. Yes. <laughs> so this is a piece from uh, Carolyn Henbright, and she made a model, a working model, and then made everything on this. She made that giant bellows. There will be bubble solution in there. This is a giant bubble machine, and that that's going around in kind of a. Uh, it's all made by elves and trolls, so everything's kind of steampunky. Uh -huh. uh, so, so that that handle turns, and then the the bubbles turn. There'll be bubble solution here, and then that there's a, a crank up in, on the other side that makes the bellows act activate, and it blows actually blows big bubbles. She wow. even developed a special bubble so, um, solution for it. Uh, but yeah, that's all out of her creation then we had a team camp that uh, assisted in the decorating and creating of it as well. well I gotta tell you to see these actual floats in action tomorrow because a lot of them do have some uh, some working parts to them. Yes yes so both on the parade site but if you want to check them out uh, early morning we get them out all out of here and on State Street so by nine o'clock they're all parked and then you can see them like in before they're I see. totally in the fray of the parade. Oh, good. Yeah. And uh, so we'll go a little, little bit more. So we also, so this parade, since it did, was started by Michael Gonzalez and the Mime Troupe, we have a history of single or even small performing events, as well as these big floats. So this is Diane Arnold and Mary Price have created Bug Scream instead of Ice Scream, right? That's right. Right. This is, uh, and, and there'll, there'll be actually uh, CO2 blowing out of that. And, uh, um, and then they'll be, be serving the crowd imaginary blood uh, bug screen cones. They'll be joined by about 20 people 
with helium balloons tied on their head to move in a dance-like way around it from Paul Forrester. Wow. So that's a more performing uh, event. This is uh, part of Mary's costume. She'll be a, a praying mantis, right, Mary? Praying mantis serving. Okay. Okay. So this is Mark McGinnis. Mark McGinnis is a long-time parade participant, and normally he has been walking on stilts. Uh -huh. Nothing normal about yes. me. I have nothing normal about Mark at all. <laughs> In fact, so this is now the retired stilt walker. Why don't you have a seat there, Mark? I'll just hold this for a second. Okay. So he's got a little. He's got a YouTube channel that that he's filming for. Oh, that's so cool. This is what a retired stilt walker does in the parade. <laughs> well, you know, we all have to retire at some point, right? Yes. Oh, I got a niche on my shoe. <laughs> Could somebody scratch it? Oh, boy. Isn't this fun? Oh, boy. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Ricardo. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. So. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. Great. See you then. So this is, a, this is a goddess, uh, and we're calling her the goddess of generosity because within the parade, mm -hmm. we have a pass the hat float. So we actually call, we have a guy on a microphone calling to the people to donate money as we go down the street. And generally make several thousand dollars that helps all of these costs that we have. If there were, what, what, where would somebody donate? If they wanted to donate to the parade, they wanted to donate to and the, the fun. Uh, if they're at the parade site, of course they can put money in the past the hat. Of course, they can go to our website. We have a website and a Facebook page. Okay. Uh, there's places to put in donations there. Um, we can take them here at the workshop. We will actually be here for another, a good two weeks after the parade, cleaning everything up. Okay. So again, everything has to disappear. Got it. We, we, I will, we, we will put a link to those uh, two spots at the oh, bottom thank, of the page. Thanks, man. Absolutely. So this is a great one. So we're, we are a community oh. art parade, which means anyone can come in, pay a small fee, and b build a float, a costume, a mask. And it can be a family or it could be, you know, so that Claire is an artist and Polly is a professional artist. But this is from a gardening group called Sublime Gardens. And they've uh, created a memorial to, this is one of the, the members of Sublime Gardens. It, it's their dog, Marley, who died. And this is a memorial to them called um, Marley's Magic Garden. Wow. A wonderful garden. And, and these are all maracas. <laughs> so this whole thing, as it goes down the road, is going to have a little sound, a little like bee. And then so there's bees here. So the, this again, is this, beautiful. Is, this is uh, was created by the the, um, the the gardening group, and then and other volunteers. We also get a ton of volunteers, and then um, and that's what creates these these images that you're seeing. Uh, and this this is uh, another family group. Uh, this is Scott who built it, and uh, it's going to be on YouTube. Uh, um, this is uh, Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory, and it's uh, what it's a collaboration. It's a the Willy Wonka the names. Uh, uh, yes. So it, and there's going to be music. There's going to be uh, oh, it's a Carrie Foreman. But how many participants do you guys have in this uh, in this year's parade? Well. It's, it's a little difficult to say, okay. because like this float behind me right here, this is Mariano Silva, and he has a Brazilian uh, uh, music and dance troupe, mm -hmm. but also he'll be joined by a Tahitian dance troupe. So that group is probably like 80 people, maybe more. Wow. And then um, the, in the front, when we get there, there's a La Boheme dance troupe. So with our dance, our da we have at least six, seven dance troupes in different ways. That's probably about between three and 500 participants in that moment, just for that. And the rest are all, you know, the spreading budget. out. Okay. People could literally, I don't know how soon this is gonna go out, but they could, today's Friday, the parade is tomorrow. They literally could come in today and still be part of the parade, wow. if they so desire. And uh, what is the cost that the city decided to put on this as far as the, city, the fee is, for, is, to join the parade. We're, we are a nonprofit organization 
So the, we do get some support from the city, so everything, but everything comes through us. Right. So the fee is not to the city, it's to Solstice. And so if, if like the dancers, they pay $15, which is for the, just to be in the parade. They make their own costume, they make everything off site. You pay $45 here and you can make a float or a costume or a, depends on the size of the float, of course. Uh, but you can definitely make a costume and a mask, which you can keep. So you, it's something you it's can It's very have. reasonable, and at the same time you're participating in a part of Santa Barbara history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's very, very good. So, uh, yeah, so there's Mariano Silva, you got that. We've got one more thing up here. Go around with the other names. And um, so this one is best from the front, but there's two groups here. And even though the color is similar, they're not actually connected. This is Kimmy Van Dyke, and she and Kent are the creators, and primarily her actually, are the creators of the Pink Party. Why don't you say a couple things, Kimmy? You're way better at that. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Kim. Kimmy, and uh, this is the Pink Party game. We are a playful peace movement. So we like to do play dates and picnics and parades. Um, and this is all about bringing everybody with a birthday together. So that's the goal, it's radical inclusion. And we are working, um, we wonder, that's the theme of the, uh, the solstice this year is wonder. And we wonder about ancient Egypt. So we are parading like a pink Egyptian. And um, this, is this, this is the sphinx that we are making into the pinks. <laughs> and so we got a little the crazy long paws out the front, you know how they are in Egypt, right? And then this is going to be the body of the Sphinx, the pinks. And then we have this beautiful woman that we know, Kara, is going to be our pinks. And that's her headdress in there. So she's going to be like the lion head and be riding the bike. And she's pulling the UFO. And so I don't know if you've ever seen in the hieroglyphs, but there are UFOs and other amazing technological flying objects. And, Absolutely. Uh, so we're bringing in all the wonder and then all about the pyramids. We have uh, our largest pyramid is 11 feet and it's uh, going to be uh, at the top of that is going to be the Eye of Horus. So if you come on in here, you can see this is the uh, this is the Eye of Horus, Eye of Ra, but we've turned it into Eye of Ma, Mother Universe. And um, it all lights up at night. Everything that we do is also, uh, it glows. So we can do nighttime um, as well as daytime. Wow. And so we're just making everyone into gods and goddesses. We've got our different um, uh, outfits for people. Everyone build. And this is our workshop. Well, thank you, Kimi. How long have you been uh, doing this? This is our seventh year. In the seventh year. Year. Yeah, you get the you get bit by the bug, and then it's like game on after that. You just want to keep doing it. Well, thank you so much for doing it because it really is a special time for Santa Barbara, a special time for you and your family and friends. And oh yeah, we have so much it, fun. It really does look like you guys put a lot of work, and it's going to be beautiful tomorrow. So thank we can't wait so to much. see it. And our party cups. Ah, haha, <laughs> party cups. I like them. <laughs> we like to party. It's the okay, so we love to include everybody, as I said, in the pink party game and um, including our elders and people who can't walk or all ages and all, you know, abilities. And so there's this, there's this one really cool fellow here, John, that does uh, cycling without age, Santa Barbara. This is John right here. It's kind of a little glare. And he has this cool trishaw, and so he goes to different places and gives the elders rides um, on Friday afternoons. Uh, Kent and another friend of ours, Ed, uh, trained in this, so they're all certified, and, and they're going to be in the parade with us. And we have two elder women that my friend Luminess is bringing in with us, and we've, uh, we're going to Egyptian goddess them, and they get to just sit and enjoy the parade in the parade. Wow. It's really great. Thank you, Cam. And these, this will be the lead float. This is what you guys will kick off so the good. parade. They're going to come in and that's as Darla B. I think there's space for two.